Hey guys, and welcome to another Star Wars Destiny video, and today we are going to be playing some good old Army of One, just because I like it. Um, I really do think it's one of the more interesting aggro decks out there. Um, why, why are the decks not spawning as elite right now? I don't get it. Um, so weird. Yeah, as I was saying, I think it's one of the more interesting aggro decks. Um, it's not just like, I hope I roll well. Um, it actually has quite a lot of measures that allow it to guarantee that it rolls well. Um, you know what? I can toss back to the anger. Um, yeah, like, just between, like, like it, it can do so much damage without having to rely on just having to roll it. Now, there are, is it, there are other aggro decks that can do that. Um, I mean, the good old uh, Boba Phasma has Throne Room, um, which is a pretty big consistency builder. You can also put hilarious cards in it if you want to, like we have them now. Um, so just the natural consistency of Throne Room helps that deck. Um, it's kind of like Sabine Ezra you could call an aggro deck, but it's not really an aggro deck. It's more of like a... It's like its own version of OTK. It's like one character kill, you know, like thing where it just uh, the slower a deck is against it, the more likely it is to to win because it it eventually will just wreck you with a roll. Um, yeah, we're gonna take shields. Let him try to move. He's gonna play good old friends in low places. Probably gonna take my overconfidence. Sounds good to me. I'll start with the good old bartering. Uh, yeah, so Sabine Ezra isn't really this aggro deck. It can, don't get me wrong, it can just go and like roll 10 damage on turn 1, but that's not its point of the deck. It's kind of like a survival deck that just needs to live long enough to kill you. Not the best roll ever. Not the worst roll ever. Um, so one of the main questions is whether you go for Yoda or for Zeb. Um, now most people are like, duh, just go for Zeb. But the problem with that is that Yoda is pretty good at keeping Zeb alive between cautions and second chances. So the question is whether you want to deal with two characters all game or try to kill Yoda first and then finish off Zeb while he doesn't have resource generation anymore. Um, uh, this was the two. Let's go ahead and deal the two to Yoda. We're just, I mean, I wouldn't argue this in any other Yoda deck, but like second chance is what breaks the deal. Like breaks the, uh, the standard thing I would do for me. You do see On the Hunt here in the stack. I don't like On the Hunt as one of the better upgrades. I just think that it's so necessary for hero mill matchups to have the repetitive shield removal. Um, and hero mill scares me enough that I want to I wanna do that. Um, you notice I resolved the two there to, to prevent like easy pickings from coming into play. Um, roll two. Or you can roll a blank. It's okay too. We can take our resource, give it the shield. It's gonna deal with four. Asma, as per usual. Activate here, and we will reel the backup muscle. Turn that to a two. We're gonna have to discard this effect to re-roll right away. We're gonna discard that deflect. Reroll this. Because I don't want him to Jedi Temple me. Interesting that we're seeing this play come in so late. 
the turn. But I guess if he only had a 3-drop, that makes some sense. Um, we will go ahead and remove the shield. It only discards events. Uh, we will deal the 3 damage. And we will take the 2 resources. And we will spend 1 to drop a force illusion. And then pass. Okay, so a decent hand here. I would have liked to have seen perhaps one more, um, one drop, but the back of muscle kind of makes up for it. Um, it is nice to have this degree of control cards. Um, I just, I like getting the resource gen going. Um, dropping like another bartering or crystal ball this turn would have been nice. Tactical mastery would have been pretty nice here too. If I roll out Phasma into a special tactical mastery on the good old Talisman would have killed. But you can see a force illusion drop right away there. Um, makes sense. Let's see. Nice. Solid roller. Uh, I believe I'm going to back up Muscle in first and then resolve the Phasma special. Quite interesting that he's dropping so many upgrades. Yoda. I would rather play the Ancient on Seb and waited the Ancient Heal Zeb later on in the game. Rather than passing away like a 2 resource for 2 heal so early. Um, and we do see a, a kind of a bad roll from his Yoda here. So we're going to back up Muscle Yoda. If he resolves the specials for some resources, um, it's annoying, yes. But uh, whatever dies, that deal damage that he turns to, I'll be able to remove with Plank. Um, it's kind of interesting that he is taking so many shields. That's fun. Um, I'll go ahead and flank the three. Yeah. Uh, why won't you? Why wouldn't he just resolve the one first? Oh my goodness! Don't do that, people. He gave one damage away for free. Um. Yeah, we're just gonna on the hunt in, and if has a special, we'll reveal that. Flip the special. I'm not scared by that. I'll remove the shields and then deal two. Hey, we got a second chance. That's kind of nice. Interesting. So yeah, as you can see, like him drawing the caution there and the second chance that we kind of saw there and the force illusion, um, you can see why it's almost an impossible task to kill Zeb first. Uh, we're going to see that one damage come through. We're going to roll out our Greedo into two plus two because he's a boss. Or one plus two, that's decent enough. I'm going to claim. He can discard the good old overconfidence. Uh, we will go ahead and deal three. Uh, we will discard to re-roll these as well. 
and we'll discard one. I somehow managed to roll that terribly. Ooh, got a second chance, and I'll deal one to Yoda. So yeah, this game looks to be going decent, I think. Um, yeah, I like this hand. Uh, I mean, obviously, Feeler Anger is kind of terrible in Yoda, but what can you do? Um, I like seeing these. I want to get these these down on the board this turn. Um, set up the later on free for alls over here. Finish them off. Um, but we'll see. I do not like seeing that four speed here. Uh, once again, if I roll a special, this tactical is potentially fatal. Uh, we could see an easy pickings come out here. It's a double resource roll. We'll see. So I'm probably just going to start off by resolving that good old resource from the bartering. So not what I want to see, but I'm okay with it. I'll take the uh, resource off the bartering. This allows me to potentially um, overwrite the force illusion. I mean, overwrite the bartering with an armor plating. Um, having already got bar value from the bartering. But we'll see. Four speed's gonna come out. I'm guessing double focus to three and special and resolving of the three. Um, but I just don't know. If you had an impulsive in hand, then it'd be a roll zeb impulsive three three. He's seriously gonna disrupt one. Interesting. I don't, I guess he could, I mean, it could have been a three drop upgrade that he's a scared of. I don't play three drops. You can't know that, I guess. Unless he read my, my bag. That was such a peculiar move. Someone explain that to me. Why he wouldn't do this in a different order. So I'm confused. Play Dark Council. I could take a ton of damage here. Uh, we're gonna see the two come through. Um, not exactly what I want to see, but hey, what can you do? Awesome, thank you. So we're not removing my other Phasma die. Um, sure, we'll drop a crystal ball. Double focus to three and two. Um, I can force illusion the three. Let's see, what do we roll here? Yeah, let's uh let's do this. Reel that bartering. Put the phasma special. Um one, two, three. Ah, oh, there's a witch magic. It's unfortunate I haven't drawn witch magics this game. 
One, two. Um, he can claim to do annoying stuff to me, but I don't really care about that. Um, I I already have enough to get max damage this round, so. I'll deal with you. Okay, we'll see what he does. Claim. Battlefield is being annoying, but not too annoying. The two, field two. Yeah, you see the impersonate there. Yeah, I just think killing Zeb is like impossible. We'll go ahead and finish that off, and we will back up muscle one to Zeb. And then we will overwrite the bartering with an armor plating. And pass. Still no free for all and still no witch magic. This game is annoying sometimes. Well, what can you do? Friends in low places. I have a hard decision here between tactical and my removal. Taking tactical is an interesting choice, but uh, I guess he probably has like an entangle or easy pickings or other removal he doesn't want me to get around. Be my guess. Say entrant come down for one. Not bad at all for him. Um, and what we will do here is we're going to reveal this and flip to the two or the special? The special. We'll do the special. Ah, that was that. Not a bad roll for him whatsoever, but we are going to kill your anger the three. Um, I just want to make sure I use Phasma Dice this turn before she could potentially die. Um, that's, I think, my main concern. But we will see. You can kind of see, hopefully, the point of this deck. Uh, these one focus, these dice of the world focuses the last two turns, so they're just like re recurring uh, use of forces. Um, let's see. Sure, we will flank the. Three for one. Can't have him killing my phasma. I use the armor plating there. We're gonna use a special. Nice. Good to see him using the ancient heal. 
Um, I think we're actually going to solve this resource here. So we'll we'll take the resource because we can drop a DH seventeen, which will also be able to deal a few damage. But then we'll have another die. Uh, unlucky for him, I have no events. We're gonna drop another DH seventeen. And we're going to activate the good old Greedo Unlucky Mercenary. Um, decent roll there for me. I'm going to discard on the hunt to re-roll. You know we got to keep that uh, plus one because that actually does deal damage. We'll re-roll these. And we'll miss everything. So we'll take a resource. We'll focus to the plus two, focus to the two, and we'll deal the seven. And then we'll back up muscle our last damage. So we put him really, really close to death. Um, and free for alls are finally in our hands. So, uh, could just activate Talzin and threaten the kill. I think that's what we want to do. Nice. So he's dropping that. Uh, he knows he has to actually deal a ton of damage to win. Um, let's go ahead and use that to flip to the two. Here's where he has to remove that too. This is the rollout, and this is a one game. So we're going to go ahead and play the free for all to deal the four. Thanks for the game. And we're going to go ahead and pop on out. Um, uh, take in a brick. Sorry. So yeah, that was kind of an interesting game. Um, I was playing against you know Yoda Zeb, and they were just uh, you know shielding up, trying to outlast, uh, which just wasn't going to work into the amount of damage that I deal. He didn't kill Phasma ever, um, despite me never drawing witch magics. I just uh, yeah, I really do think that. It's one of the stronger decks. I think it's probably like tier. I don't know, maybe tier one. Uh, I've had success against even like uh, tier one decks. Like, uh, I mean, it depends on where you put your tier one. But I beat Palandos. I beat um, Sabines. I beat various other other stuff. Um, I just deal so much damage. Uh, and has such good uh, outlasting ability with the armor platings, force illusions, and the witch magics. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the game. Uh, let me know if there are any decks you'd like to see in the future. And until next time.